Putin needs uh, war uh, in Syria and either to keep his power because he have uh, a lot of domestic problems, to keep the sol national solidarity around him, to have the legitimacy also in the view of some of his uh, public opinion, local public opinion, and to reinforce his uh, image because the economy is uh, very in bad situation in Russia. They don't have any real industry. Uh, they have a bad relation with all European and either American and even with some uh, uh, country in the Asian country. They need, uh, as one of the advisor of Gorbachev told me, uh, Putin without war, he cannot stay. And for that, I cannot believe that he can build uh, peace or he can work for a peace solution. Uh, in Syria, it's a way to have a strong uh, argument to negotiate with Western country on other issues like on his annexation, occupation of, Ukraine, uh, of uh, Crimea, of uh, Eastern Ukraine, of uh, also he asked uh, NATO to uh, not put, uh, putting uh, missiles in Baltic uh, countries. He want his gas to sell his gas with preference price to Europe and to stop the importation from gas from other countries to Europe. He wants a lot of things. And Syrian issue, it's a good opportunity to use it like a cart of negotiation, to bargaining better, to have a better position in this negotiation. And he don't want this negotiation with Europe. He wants to negotiate with America only with America, because he believe, and it's not completely wrong, that when America decide, Europe follow. I, I think uh, we cannot go in his mind uh, deeply, because it's not very cl clear person. Uh, it's a guy from Secret Ser Ser Service, and it's a school uh, on his own, Secret Service everywhere in the world. It's a school of thinking of uh, strategy, of vision. And uh, he believed that he need now to win the, the situation he managed and look after for another situation and managing other future situation. I don't think he have a strategic vision, he have tactical vision, like he's a judo uh, player you, you think about your play now. Don't think about the play next day. You must win in your match in the moment. Talking about the presence of private Russian military groups in Syria, for example, Wagner Group, uh, how big is uh, their role in, in this conflict in Syria? You know, in Syria now it's open space. You have 36 Shia militia from Iran, from Pakistan, from Afghanistan, from Lebanon, from Iraq. You have also uh, the Russian mercenary. The figures is not fixed. We cannot have a confirmation about their figures, but they are very used by the Russian uh, administration because they keep their soldiers from to be engaged on the ground and they send mercenary. Even if in the Russian uh, law it's forbidden to be uh, to belong to a mercenary company, but it's the reality. And when they lost more than 100 mercenaries in the east of Syria, attacked by United States, uh, Putin he didn't, didn't re react. Even if if those hundred of life of Russian uh, citizen don't exist, and don't uh, he don't care about it. Because they are not soldiers. They are not registered as soldiers in his army. And uh, they, they are very used everywhere in Syria, not only in the east, uh, even in Aleppo, even in Damascus. 
They work like uh, white, uh, black water in Iraq, the mer American mercenary, as private militia, but they apply uh, an official policy of Kremlin. You also mentioned during your talk that Aleppo is going to be rebuilt by um, Kadyrov's uh, people. Can you please tell more about this situation? Because it's not common known here in Ukraine like that. No, uh, Aleppo, it was destroyed. Uh, the eastern of the city, the old city, the historical site, is completely destroyed. And uh, Kadyrov, he engaged himself with one hundred, one, with 10 or 12 million of dollars to rebuild the Umayyad mosques. Uh, in the center of the old city. But also, he sent uh, more than 1,000 soldiers with the Russian flag, but they are Kadyrov soldiers, to be, uh, to be like a military police in Aleppo, to control the city. It's also their uh, mat mat matter to, to, to send a message to Iranian to not be uh, uh, very present in the city because the Chechen come from Sunni community and the Iranian, the Shia, and it's a message to, to try to make equilibrium inside of the city. But also, uh, in the mind of the Russian administra uh, administration, they said uh, Aleppo it will be Grozny solution. What they mean about Grozny solution, it's Grozny solution that we destroyed everything and we rebuild everything on, like Grozny uh, built it, uh, like a new city without any respect of the historical uh, memory or historical heritage. And now the UNESCO uh, threat uh, the government of Syria to, to preserve Aleppo, historical Aleppo, or they retired Aleppo from the uh, uh, universal patrimoine because Aleppo is uh, registered like a very old city, 7,000 years. Uh, and uh, the mind of Kadyrov, the, 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 the Grozny paradigm, is very present in the reconstruction of the city. We destroyed everything and we rebuilt the uh, uh, malls and uh, new uh, building, very kitsch and very uh, uh, lighting li to show the people that we rebuilt the peace, what they called uh, the peace. On the body of on the bodies of the hundred of thousand of uh, citizen of Aleppo, uh, people now in Aleppo uh, they have a hierarchy hierarchy of occupation. They have Hezbollah from Lebanon. They have their own uh, army. They consider it at, as occupation army. They have their own Syrian militia. They have afraid from those militia. And they have the Russian, the Chechen groups, uh, troops. And they believe that the Chechen, they are the most uh, uh, disciplined between all those other groups. And uh, Russia play this card to convince people that you have the choice between worst and the worst than the worst. And uh, they, they show them also they are Muslim like them, they make their, they stop their tank to make their prayer uh, with them and they rebuild their mosque. It's a, a, a huge propaganda for, for uh, normal people can work, but for the awareness people it cannot work because the occupation cannot be replaced by such uh, uh, propaganda. Uh, it's the success of Russian and Syrian regime to push all the Western country to believe on this narrative that you have the choice between Assad and ISIS. And of course, you, you will choose Assad because nobody will choose the terrorist of ISIS. But it's uh, the Russian uh, uh, tactic uh, way to, to push Western country to to jump on, on, on this uh, 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 trap. Uh, and I think uh, now for the moment, when you speak to, to Western diplomat, in their mind, terrorism, terrorism, and terrorism. And they don't talk anymore about Syrian people, about Syrian democracy, about uh, what the Syrian people want from, from the future. It's uh, behind them.